Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar and in this video you will learn how we can create a searchable drop down list for multiple cells. So as you are seeing my screen, I have here uh, this table. So let me show you the uh, list first. I have this country list uh, sheet and here I have put uh, few countries name and uh, the drop down list has been created uh, from here and in this sheet you can see I have use drop down and i have created this data validation on these cells so you can see if i will uh, put any value like af in this cell let's say and then i will click then related to af country's name will be displayed only and if i will uh, type here like i and d and then i will click here then you can see related to i and d like india indonesia or let's say uk and then you can see here so it's working for multiple cells also you can use it like simple data validation i'll tell you a trick how we can do this i have already created a video for searchable drop down you can see uh, that video i have given the uh, video's description video link in my description box so friends i will tell you from the starting don't worry uh, i'm just copying this country list and going to add a new workbook i'm pressing control n to add a new workbook so a new workbook which is book 2 has been added i'll paste this here so this is my uh, country name and here i'll put a search header then i'll put frequency and then i'll put uh, the final list so the method is almost same which i have already created a video for that so here in search i'll use let's say for the time being i'm assuming i'll type my value here let's say i'm typing a so i'm putting the formula here and that will be search and the find text i'm taking let's say i4 press f4 then i'll take within text so within text i'll to take a2 and just press enter okay it will return the value if i will drag it down it will return the value or the position of a but if i will type let's say z here then it will give a value error because z is not available in these cells so here what i will do i'll use if error formula if error if error then it will return zero all right so just fill it down now you can see z is not available let's say if i'll type g then you can see g is available in this country name and that is on place 3 so that is why it is returning 3 and here it is returning 5 because g is available on place 5 all right so uh, now just fill this formula down and then in frequency i'll use if this value is equal to 0 then it will give blank otherwise it will use a count if count if and then i'll give the range so range i'll give v to v the same range but for first v2 i'll press f4 will freeze this not for second v2 and then i'll give the uh, criteria and the criteria will be is greater than zero so it will count only the values which are greater than zero and just press enter now fill this formula so it if it is zero then it will give blank otherwise it will give sim simple running number okay friends now in the final list i'll use index function index and i'll get the value from the country list and then in row number i'll use match function match and then i'll give the lookup value in numbers like one two three so that i can match it from the frequency but to get the number dynamically i'll use row function row and then row number i'll take let's say any column i'm taking v so it will return one because i'm taking v1 then for v2 it will return two 
okay and then look up array i'll give frequency because i have to match from frequency then i'll give zero for exact match and then just close this wicket all right so it is giving afghanistan for first because it is matching with this one then i'll just drag it down then for second it is giving this country and the other country also let's say i'm putting uk then it is giving two countries only then it is giving has an error because it is not able to point the other values so what i will do here i'll put if error formula if error then it should show blank in place of error it will show the blank and just fill it down so all right so friends we have created a list final list now time to create the dynamic name so that we can assign that name in data validation okay so i'll go to the formulas and name manager and create new name and here i'll give name let's say uh, list country list country list okay and here i will use a offset function to make it dynamic offset and then i'll give range d2 and then i'll put three commas and after that i'll use count if and then range d2 and i'll count the values so i'll put a star then question mark and just close this wicket click on okay sorry we have missed any wicket let me see so actually we have missed uh, this double quit click on okay all right so it's uh, it is giving uh, the range from d2 d3 so what i have to do i'll put minus 1 here okay because it is counting the d1 value also okay now check so it's giving the correct now let's say i'm just selecting this and i'll assign data validation here list then press f3 country list okay then you will see the list from here but it is uh, working from this cell okay friends so what i will do you can see i have taken i2 here that is why it is working from here that means we have to take the dynamic reference of active cell to take the dynamic reference of active cells what i have to do i'll use cell function cell then address function and just close the bracket so what this function will return it will return the address of active cell let's say i have active this cell okay or let's say i have active h1 but still it, it it is giving g5 because it has not calculated it yet if i will click on calculate now then it will give h1 if i will select anywhere and calculate now then it will give the uh, active cell address okay friends so we can take uh, this formula in place of i2 because we have fixed the i2 from here so i'll copy this formula which is cell then address and in search column i'll remove this i2 fix value and place this but friends this formula will return a string or text not a reference to convert a text into a reference we will use indirect formula before this indirect then this now close the bracket of indirect now press enter click ok and just fill this formula down all right now this formula will work for any cell not only for th this cell let's say just click on calculate now then you can see all the list if i will type any cell like ind and then you can see the list here okay so uh, now i'm going to uh, add new worksheet and i can put my data validation in this range so go to the data validation or press alt dl then go to the list and here press f3 country list click on ok 
okay you can see uh, this country list has been created now if i will click on this it is working but if i will type let's say ind then i will click then it will show this error so what i have to do just select this range again go to the data validation or press all dl and then go to the error alert and here you can see this check uh, so error alert after invalid data is entered and check this click on okay now type just ind it is showing india indonesia af it is showing afghanistan and the other countries all right so it's working fine friends that's how you can create a searchable drop down list which will work for any of the cell you can put the data validation on any cell of the workbook even it will work on the different worksheet also you can see i have created on uh, sheet 1 but i am using data validation in sheet 2 friends one thing i would like to tell you there could be some calculation problem here and let me show you an example let's say i'm typing here uh, chat im and then click and you will see only Zimbabwe here after that if i will type something here like uk and then i will click here then what list should be display here here should be Zimbabwe only however it will show uh, this UK related uh, list because the last calculation was happened when I type UK here all right so uh, what I have to do I'll go to the formula and click on calculate now then it will show Zimbabwe so to get the rid of this problem what I will do I'll go to the developer tab visual basic here we are putting our data validation on sheet 2 double click on sheet 2 and then i will go to the bug sheet from here and here this selection change already selected so just keep it as it is now here i will type application dot sorry calculate all right now if i will type let's say you will see the zimbabwe here and remove i'll type uk then i will click here then still it will show zimbabwe because whenever i am changing the selection it is calculating the application all right friend i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for the watching